The Newfoundland is a very large and majestic dog breed that is both hardworking and compassionate. The breed, sometimes known as the Newfie, is clever, loving and extremely devoted. They make excellent companions and instinctually excel at water rescues and other duties. These canines were developed for aquatic life, with a thick coat to keep them warm and webbed paws that make for excellent swimming. Some even say that they're the best companions you can ever find. Owning one is surely a privilege, but how about some deep insight before you get one? Well, hello there. Welcome to DogJoy. In today's video, we'll take a deep dive look at the incredible Newfoundland breed, their peculiar history, and the distinctive characteristics that sets this dog apart. Stick with us to the end to find out everything you need to know about this gentle giant. History as you may have already guessed, the Newfoundland dog originated in the harsh, rocky, icy windswept region of northeastern Canada among the small coastal fishing towns of Newfoundland and Labrador. Well, the breed's exact origin is now lost in the mists of time. However, the Newfoundland is one of the oldest dog breeds still in existence today. The Algonquin and Sioux Indian tribes may have tamed the Newfoundland straight from the wild, a massive dog that was once a common sight on the broad plains and along the eastern seaboard. The archaeological record contains evidence of this. Although many early naturalists believe that the breed is a native North American breed, its origins remain a source of contention. European fishermen may have mated their dogs with the island's native canines, perhaps resulting in a cross with the Great Pyrenees. A huge black dog is said to have accompanied the Viking Leif Erikson when he landed on the shore of Newfoundland over a thousand years ago. George Cartwright, an English army commander who was a merchant and explorer in Newfoundland, coined the term Newfoundland in 1775 to refer to his dog, and thus was how the Newfoundland got its oh-so-original name. The first authenticated etching, dating back to the late 1700s, very much resembles their present form in many ways, including a huge skull, big body, and well-muscled legs. A century later, in 1886, the first Newfoundland breed club was formed in England. Originally, Newfoundland dogs were developed for carting and hauling. They were frequently employed to draw fishermen's nets out of the sea, move wood up and down the mountainous streets of Newfoundland's outports, and perform perform other tasks. They were also bred to be water rescue dogs, and they are still employed for that purpose today. Thanks to their incredible swimming skills, the Newfoundland might have been responsible for changing history. In 1815, the infamous Napoleon Bonaparte was exiled to the island of Elba. During an escape from the island, Napoleon slipped and fell from his ship and into the raging sea, but was immediately rescued by a fisherman's dog. This large dog was reported to be a Newfoundland. Thanks to this event, Napoleon survived and went on to return to power and and make history. Puppy Days The Newfie head is magnificent with a delicate and deep look. Their outer coat is coarse and flat. The cheerful, bright and interested Newfoundland puppy is never frightened, jittery or aggressive, but rather calm and easygoing. They possess webbed paws and a water-resistant coat, making them natural water dogs. One important thing to know is the puppy Newfie's growth plates are still forming up through the age of two, so be careful not to over-exercise during this time. Appearance and Size the Newfoundland is a giant, muscular working dog with thick bones and a dignified posture. Males can weigh up to 150 pounds and reach 28 inches tall at the shoulder. Females normally weigh 100 to 120 pounds. Most commonly found in black or brown colours, but can also be found in black and white and sometimes grey. Temperament and Characteristics According to the Newfie breed standard, the most significant single quality of the breed is its pleasant behaviour. Their kind nature is seen in their fondness for children and have often been referred to as the Mother Teresa of dogs because of this. They are trusting and trainable and they react well to moderate directions. These magnificent giants are among the world's largest canines and getting a companion that may outweigh you presents obvious challenges. 
Despite its size, the Newfoundland is a calm dog who can easily adapt to living in a house. However, they do require a large yard for exercise and preferably secure access to water. The breed is vigilant, trustworthy and tolerant of children running about. Newfoundlands are renowned for guarding their families by forcibly separating them from strangers. They are not barkers but will demonstrate that they are vigilant and eager to protect. Training and Intelligence if this will increase your interest, it is important to know that Newfoundlanders are wise. They are simple to teach and can often learn a new command in 15 to 25 trials. Many Newfoundland pups can be entirely house trained as young as five weeks. Because of their intelligence and size, Newfoundlands have been utilized by fishermen for many years. They rapidly understood their orders and assisted the fishermen by hauling enormous fishing nets and heavy carts. They could also detect when a person is drowning and dive into the water to help them. If you love dogs like we do and want to see more videos about all the amazing dogs in the world, please be sure to like and subscribe to the channel so you'll be notified about all our future videos. Exercise and Agility Newfies are notorious for being clumsy, which ties up with their nickname, Gentle Giant. Don't worry, they're great at training and a dedicated Newfie can do everything they set their minds to. Newfoundlands are not particularly agile. They can, however, be trained for agility if they show an aptitude for it. They are well recognized for their power, stamina and swimming skills. However, their talents as working dogs lay with their overall strength. Aside from allowing them to run around a yard, it's also a good idea to take them out for walks twice a day and the bulk of that walk should be spent smelling, investigating and becoming acclimated to a leash rather than fast-paced strolling. Shedding and Grooming Naturally, Newfoundlands are breeds that do shed a lot, as you can imagine. To give you a sense of how much they shed, you can compare them to other heavy shedding breeds like the Bernese Mountain Dog and Great Pyrenees, which are some of the most heavy shedders you'll come across. The shedding, on the other hand, is mild most of the time throughout the year. However, they blow their coats annually because they have a thick undercoat that keeps them warm in the winter. That implies they'll shed a lot more in the run-up to these seasonal shifts, particularly in the spring and fall. However, seasonal shedding does not occur until they are roughly three years old. Their adult coat doesn't fully emerge until this age. So you have a few years until you're bombarded with a never-ending assault of fur. Aside from the coat, Newfies have more hair to shed than smaller dogs because of their size. As a result, even modest shedding might result in more hair to clean up. This is comparable to the story of other huge breeds, like the Great Dane. The difference between a Great Dane and a Newfoundland is that Newfoundlands have significantly thicker, longer coats. Not only is it more obvious when hair falls out, but it also takes more effort to groom. To make life easier, we recommend finding a reputable and talented dog groomer nearby that can handle this for you. Trust us on this. You'll be happier and more at ease for it, and so will your new fee. Health and Lifespan Traditionally, the lifetime of a large dog breed ranges from 8 to 12 years. Because Newfies are classified as gigantic dogs, they are typically given a life expectancy of 8 to 10 years. However, many Newfies live beyond that range and have a life expectancy of 10 to 12 years. But this all depends on how healthy they are kept. So don't believe everything you read. It's very uncommon to hear about Newfies living well into their teen years. That being said, the Newfoundland dog's longevity, like any other, is determined by various factors, the most significant of which is their diet and exercise. The Newfie is ultimately a fantastic dog, and I'm sure you'll want one right now. They are excellent friends and simple to train, which means less stress for you. So what's your favourite thing about the Newfie? Would you want to own one yourself? Perhaps you have one now. We absolutely love interacting with you in the comments, so please let us know your thoughts and stories below. Once again, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.